The werewolf threat has ended. The gypsy escaped from his cell, but at least Igor returned to town. He has told us that you saved him from death. The gypsy has no doubt returned home to his people. They have an encampment to the east. Suppose you heard that the gypsy didn't kill Igor after all. Dmitri has set the gypsy free. No good will come of it. You mark my words. The man was clearly a werewolf. You tell Olga that the gatekeeper's name is Boris Stovich and ask if they're related. Aha! So that's where the so-and-so went. Uh, tell him he's a rotten no good, Nick. As my husband used to say, come back again, sunshine or rain. Igor, very glad not to still be in grave. You Igor's friend now, huh? Grave accident? <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. <laughs> that good one. I like it. Igor, carve headstone near grave. Igor, fall in grave. Gravestone, fall on grave. Igor not get out until you get him out of grave. Igor in grave danger. <laughs> A little graveyard humor there. People say doctor mad. Doctor not mad. Doctor just crazy. Her. Igor not give crypt key to strangers. You not stranger. Igor give crypt key to you. This is a little too easy now. You need to add more weight. You pick up two of the metal weights and put one in each of the baskets. Your legs are too stiff and sore to use this right now. After After Your legs are After some Your legs are Tell the chief about your break-in at the old man's house. It seems you do really well under pressure. It is a pity that we can no longer fence things here. You could probably earn a lot of money. Tell the monster about your break-in at the Burgermeister's office. You seem to be most daring. Is there nothing that you fear? You will make a truly excellent chief thief someday.
Good day and welcome back. Have you been enjoying your adventures around here? You tell Boris what Olga said about him. He blushes. Olga was always opinionated. I grew tired of listening to her complain about me all the time. Goodbye, and good travels. You slowly fill your flask with the greasy, grimy goo. You need more strength to pull this off. You haven't been keeping up with your training, have you? You are so exhausted, you need more strength. Need more st you need more you need more you need more you need more You feel a tug on the line. Yes! You've hooked a big one! You carefully haul in the bonsai bush. Wipe some of the grimy goo off its roots and tie it to your backpack. I just wanted to thank you for saving me. Not many people would try to help a gypsy. Particularly when everyone thinks that they are werewolves. 
gypsies are not werewolves. <laughs> you cannot believe the lies of the townsfolk. Visit our camp to the east sometime, and we will welcome you as only the gypsies can. Gypsies are not werewolves, but we are shape changers. I hope to see you again sometime. Farewell! Back again so soon. What have you heard lately? You tell Olga that Boris says she complains about him all the time. Well, if he'd ever been here to get his work done instead of spending all his time carousing at the inn, I wouldn't have had to complain. And you can tell him I said so, huh? Yeah, good night and don't let... I believe I am on the verge of a major discovery. It came to me last night. I believe that there is a formula which can be used to create a rehydration solution. Such a solution could be used to restore fluidity to any substance or object that has become prematurely dry. Why, if we can but manufacture Dr. Cranium's rehydration solution in sufficient quantities, we could rehydrate the Great Shapirian Desert. Of course, there are a few small bugs to be worked out. It would take most of the water in the world's oceans to make that much solution. Uh, then there is the tiny snag that I have not been able to remember the formula since awakening from the dream. Dr. Cranium's rehydration solution should be a shoe-in for the alchemical innovation of the animal ward. It contains the prime essence of the element of water in a perfectly condensed form. I spent some time in Spielberg last summer. Everyone there kept talking about some hero who did some sort of noble deeds there. You would think that they could find more excitement in the modern accomplishments of science. There seemed to be quite an infestation of baby Antwerps there for some reason. I took advantage of the opportunity to capture a number of them in very blunt cages for my experiments. The Baron did not even charge me very much for them. Oh, I do seem to be a little careless in keeping track of my scientific formulae. I have them all written down somewhere. I think it was in the margins of one of my books here. It is very... Here you... Here you... Ah, oh, you need my world-famous rehydration solution. Unfortunately, I have forgotten the elemental formula of its main ingredient. <laughs> Perhaps you can help. Yes, that sounds just right. By the way, I could use some Gru Goo for one of my experiments. It would be most kind if you could bring me some when you return for the rehydration solution. That is terrific! This is just what I need for my experiments. As I promised, here is your rehydration solution.
you relate the tale of your journey to Shapir, how you saved two cities from the evil vizier Ad Avis and his elemental minions. Now you are talking science. The elements are the building blocks of everything in nature. I am sure I have never heard of anyone constructing creatures purely of a single element, but it certainly makes scientific sense. You say this Adavis referred to a dark master here in Mordavia? I am sure I have never heard of such a one here. There are rumors of strange goings-on in the castle, but I do not credit such tales without scientific observation to back them up. Rehydration may prove to be a crucial step on the way to an even more important discovery, instant water. Bad place. <laughs> very bad place. Go away. You'll be very sorry. You push the Dark One sign into the indentation on the door. It fits perfectly. Very wet be I, very wet and very alive. Glad am I to be alive, happy thanks I give you. Careful you should be here, dangerous berry it is. Feed the guard or destroy it to find the secret passage down. Retrieve the dark. You find a good spot, then climb up the monastery wall. The flame quickly catches in the desiccated rug and spreads to the curtains and the furniture. You'd better get out of here quickly. <laughs> if Igor get big hero job, can he be pyromaniac too? Hello. And two and two make six. A little bush is in a fix. 
if you save a plant from goo, I can help you with a clue. Six and seven make thirteen. Plant it in a garden green. Flowers bloom and waters flow. Plant the bush where it will grow. Greetings and welcome to our camp. You are a stranger no longer. When you saved me from death, our lives became intertwined. Henceforth, you are to be known as a gypsy friend. <laughs> Come now, I will take you to the leader of our camp. So, you are the one my son spoke of. You saved his life. You also enter fearlessly into our den of wolves. You are a man of great courage. We gypsies owe you for our daily, and I believe we will owe you for things to come. Welcome. I am the fortune teller. I will give you a gift for saving my son. I sense it will be most useful in your adventuring. Here, take this amulet. It will protect you from the dead that will not die. This amulet will protect you from some of the damage the undead creatures can do. Now the debt is paid, you are here as our guest. How did you come to this valley of no exit? And where will your journey take you? You tell about how you got here. The dark cave? You escaped from there? Ah, oh, you are very powerful and lucky. I would guess that a summoning spell went wrong. That cave interferes with all magic around here. But it is best not to speak of that cave. Someone brought you here for some unknown purpose. Hmm, most interesting. <laughs> you tell her about the frightening dream. Dreams are messages. Such a message may be obscure or meaningful, depending upon the sender and the dreamer. The meaning of this dream may be clearer when you have had more of them. You tell the gypsies your name. We are honored to know your name. It is a good name, a strong name. <laughs> you bear it well. You may call me Magda. That is the name I go by with you Gorgios. Gorgio is the word we call anyone who is not a gypsy. 
We are the roving people, the tinkers and traders and tellers of fortunes. We are the dancers in the night and the music in the wilderness. We are the untamed ones who live only by our own rules. We own no land and no land owns us. The world is ours for the travel. Creatures of the night, shapeshifters, skin changers. We are man or beast by our own will. To run on four legs, to howl at the moon, to chase the terrified prey through the hills. This is what it is to be truly alive. Oh, 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 oh. oh the legend of the werewolf is but a folk tale. We change our shape when we choose. Not because the moon is in some silly phase. We are the beast with the mind of a man, and a man with the mind of a beast. It is not normally our way to speak so freely to outsiders. So why do I say so much to you? Because you need to know we are not your enemies. You have too many questions that cannot be answered. And your ignorance may be your doom. There is much to you. Your actions to come will affect us all. Do not doubt it. Therefore, I will speak honestly and openly on what I can. Now, I can see by your eyes that our future is linked to you for weal or woe. This valley has always been a nexus of power. Magic is very strong here. My people for generations come here to renew and strengthen their ties to the mystical ways. My dear, we are not the only ones drawn by this power. The magician Irana created a magical refuge here. Others, more dark, were drawn here as well. Oh, be wary and watchful at all times here. The magic of this land has become twisted, and there are many dangers around you. Oh! There are many places and things of magic around here, and I am certain you will come across them in your travels. Irana was a powerful magician who came from this area. There is a garden in the forest which she created. Oh, it is such a place of safety for all who visit there. It is said that her final resting place is near here as well. Her staff stands in the town and protects those within the walls from outside harm. There are some things about which even I dare not speak. Even thinking about such creatures attracts them. Let us hope that you never need know of such matters. There are many legends about that ogress. We gypsies avoid her when we can. She is dangerous to enemies, and she takes offense easily. She has her hut to the south. There is some sort of magic hiding the pathway there. Her only weakness is her love of food. Be careful if you need to approach her. I have been gifted by true sight and foreknowledge. These are gifts with knife edges. Oh, I have seen my own death and knew my true love's death the day I met him. Still, it is most useful. I will read your fortune in the cards, if you wish. You have only to cross my palm with silver. So much for the legends about werewolves, huh? Or at least a coin of value. But I warn you, no future is fixed. What the cards show of the future can happen, but only if you take the actions to create this future. And it is not easy to determine what those actions are, dear. Such is life. Now, you listen to the words of an old gypsy fortune teller. 
You will initiate this reading of the cards. The shuffling and cutting attunes the cards to those vibrations which surround you. You do not control the cards, nor do I. It is the cards which show what they choose to show. I will reveal to you the meanings of the cards. It is up to you to interpret how they affect you. You may reveal the first card. The first card is the significator. It is the symbol of the subject of the reading. This is a card of vigilance and agility. The person this represents is skilled at perceiving the hidden, at spying, and uncovering the unknown. This is a person who has mastery over his body and is lithe and active. This card clearly represents you, and therefore this reading is about you. The cards which surround the significator represent the influences which affect your current situation. This next card represents something from the distant past which is relevant to the here and now. Turn over this card and reveal the influence of your past. This card is the High Priestess. It is inverted, which means the meanings too are turned upside down. The High Priestess is some woman of your past. She is a person of selfishness and passion. Someone who seems to be very powerful, but her knowledge is limited by her own conceit. Turn over the next card to reveal more of this individual. The Four of Coins. Now that is the card of the miser. This woman of your past has power, but uses it selfishly. This is a person who cares only of her own needs and wants, and does not care what she does or how she influences others. This person is one who, as long as you satisfy her needs and vanity, will be willing to aid you, providing it does not require any amount of effort on her part. However, if you act against her, her vengeance will be swift and violent. This is not a person to disregard, and she plays an important part in the events around you. Reveal the next card, something of the more recent past, which has consequences in the present. This is the inverted king of coins. This is an old and vicious man, someone who is willing to use any means to attain his desires. Someone who is dangerous and cannot be trusted or underestimated. Reveal the next card that we may learn more of this person. The devil. This is indeed an ill omen. This person is influenced by black magic, a man of power and dark desires. Yet the devil is a sign of bondage and subservience, and this person has faced unexpected failure of some sort. This is someone of great evil, someone who cannot be trusted. This is one who will bear you ill will, yet is somehow prevented from harming you or gaining his revenge for now. Should he gain his freedom, this man will seek to destroy all which stands between his goals and himself. Turn over the next card to reveal a surrounding influence. Ah, the Queen of Cups. Again, there is a female influencing your present. 
This is a woman of wisdom and love. She is kind, generous, and virtuous. Let us see what next the cards reveal of this person. The star. It is a symbol of hope and spiritual influence. Now this is a woman in touch with her magical nature. She is gentle and loving, yet there is great strength within. This is a woman who generates hope and help through her actions. The next card reveals the overriding influence upon the future. Ah, oh, the Queen of Swords. She is a woman of wit and skill, yet she has suffered through terrible hardship and she is marked by her suffering. Oh, she faces her sorrows bravely, but with a deep, deep loneliness. The next card will tell us more about her. The Moon. It is the card of deception. This woman is a deceiver, or is deceived by her own beliefs. This card also reveals the magical nature of the woman. This is the strength which sustains her. Oh, she is either surrounded by false friends, or seeks to betray you herself. She is the victim, or the villainess. The final card will reveal the influence which will most affect you. The Void. Mm. About this card, I will not speak. I must meditate upon its meaning. This tableau shows the influences surrounding you. These people will affect your life for weal or for woe. It is up to you to determine how and what effect they will have upon you. That is all that the cards and I can reveal at this time. Make what you will of your fortune. I will speak no more of it. You say goodbye. Ah, you weary of talk. <laughs> Good. You are a guest with us tonight. Let us join the others for food, drink, and dance, huh? I hope you will enjoy the hospitality of my people. You spend the evening in the joyful company of the gypsies. The gypsies seem to have gone all out to make you welcome in their camp. You've eaten a rich, spicy stew with no garlic, with fresh bread and plenty to drink. Now it's time to relax and enjoy. Come, is she not beautiful? Ah, why do you hesitate? Go, join in the dance! gypsy wolves, you find yourself curling up into a comfortable position near the fire pit and sinking into a deep and dreamless sleep.